to share with you guys, I received something in the mail and I wasn't really expecting it. It's not my birthday, so I was like, what is it? So I had to open it. Um, but it was nice that, um, you know, I gave my friend a gift and they gave, they sent me this beautiful thank you card. So I was like really touched by it because, you know, they took the time to go buy this card, write it out, and then mail it to me. So that was a really um, nice gesture of them. But they'd also told me, and it, you know, I felt good that they were appreciative of the gift that I had gotten them. You know, sometimes people forget to say thank you when something as nice is being done for them. So it was a good thing to receive. And, you know, we read about um, a time where in Luke chapter 7, verse 11 through 19, we read about a time when there was t these 10 men who had a very bad skin disease, which is called leprosy. And they had, you know, had it for a while, and it's kind of very unbearable, and it's so contagious that they can't be around people. But um, they ran into Jesus, and Jesus saw them, and he touched them, and they heal he healed them through a miracle, right, of this disease. So these 10 men were so happy and just rejoicing and jumping up and down and running down the streets, basically wanting to tell everybody, because now they could be with their friends and their family. And then one of them stopped and went back to see, to tell Jesus, thank you. And Jesus replied to him, did I not heal 10 of you guys? Where are the other nine? So out of the 10, only one stopped to go back and say, thank you, Jesus. You know, um, sometimes we forget to say thank you. You know, um, God does so much for us, right? He, yeah, and we forget to say thank you. I mean, daily. I mean, I don't know if I had to stop every single time to say thank you. I, I don't know how many times I would run out of fingers, right? Obviously, because he does so much for us, right? He gives us life. He gives us health. He um, takes care of our family, our friends. He gives us food, a shelter. He gives us everything. And then above all, the greatest gift that he's given us is that he gave his one and only son so that we could live forever. And so that's the best gift that we could have ever gotten. So, you know, um, I'm going to read a verse in Psalm 118.1. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his love endures forever. So I want us to stop and just say thank you, because sometimes we forget to say thank you. And we have the opportunity. So let's um, say thank you to God now. Let's pray. Father God, we love you and we thank you because you are God and you're a good God. You do everything for us, even before we even ask, before we even know what we need. You provide it. And we just say thank you. And above all, thank you for giving us the best gift, which was your son, Jesus Christ. Help us to um, be conscientious and remember to say thank you to people who help us in our lives. And just that we would continue to um, be thankful in every situation that we're in whether it's good, whether it's not so good, when we have and even when we don't have. So thank you, God, for being an awesome God. We love you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Short and sweet. <laughs>